Welcome to Action Points! Greetings fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers and welcome to another Action Points episode. I'm going to churn through this Action Points episode now. Let's not waste any time and let's start with what has Universal Head been playing? Well, a lot has happened in the month of June. My good friend Will, my old gaming buddy, he arrived for a visit and we managed to film some excellent battle reports. Well, we enjoyed them. I hope you enjoy them too. And that means that July is Battle Report Month. Yes, I'm going to be publishing a battle report every week in the month of July. That's four, count them, four battle reports all through July. And not only that, there's going to be an extra bonus one for War of the Ring. And I'm just going to release that to backers of steward level or higher. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I want to give some extra value to those people who get behind the esoteric order of gamers, just as a little way of saying thank you. It doesn't mean that I don't incredibly appreciate everybody who supports the esoteric order of gamers. I do very much so. And I'm sure later down the track, I'll be making this video available for everybody. Now, one of those battle reports is quite exciting because it's a three player battle report. We'll be introducing a new player and playing the spectacular Star Wars Ascendancy. The other games will be playing uh, Gaslands, Necromunda Underhive and Conan. It's going to be a lot of fun. Something else that came in just at the end of the month was the new Warhammer Age of Sigma starter set called Soul Wars. Soul Wars. Do 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 play Steve. Do do Soul Wars. And I've immersed myself in that. And I'm not doing it alone, of course. I filmed an unboxing, but I'm also filming a series of videos on building, painting, and playing that core set. So it's sort of back to the basics. Old Warhammer, I haven't played it for donkey's years. Not many new games coming in this month, but I did get Hunt for the Ring by Ares Games. There's a rule summary for that. It's almost finished. It'll be to you in July. Another thing I got into in June was some role playing. Um, a group of friends and I started playing a Mutant Crawl Classics campaign. It was huge fun. They rolled up nought level characters, four of them each, and plunged into um, a underground hive full of giant ants and bees and things, and lots of them died. It was a hoot and reminded me how much fun role playing is. Now it's time to talk about some games, and I'm going to mention just a couple of Kickstarters this month because I've been avoiding them a little bit. The shipping is getting crazy prices. And there was one by Mythic Games called Solomon Cain, which looked interesting. It was a co-op game and you didn't actually play Solomon Cain himself, but you played the roles of these various virtues that influenced his actions. It looked kind of interesting, but I decided not to pull the trigger on that one. Also, the shipping is $80 US just for the core set for me in New Zealand. It's just too expensive, so I really have to keep an eye on those Kickstarters and just get the ones that really grab me. So I gave that one a miss, but it'll be interesting to see what people think of it when it finally comes out. Another one that's coming soon, in fact, it's coming out on the 10th of July, is the new one from Simon, come on, cool mini or not, whatever you want to call them. It's called Cthulhu Death May Die. It looks quite interesting though. You actually start as an investigator who is insane. <laughs> And the stated goal is pretty much to shoot Cthulhu in the face. An interesting thing is, is that it's broken into a couple of acts. And I thought that's an interesting thing that's starting to happen with more games now because Hunt for the Ring is also broken into two acts. So will we be seeing more games in the future that actually break the gaming experience into separate chunks? I wonder. I started a new video segment this month. It's called Quick Tips. And it's just very short video segments designed to give you maximum bang for your gaming buck. It just throws in a few little tips that I've picked up over my many decades uh, of gaming. Little things that might help you out and make your gaming more enjoyable. I've done two of them so far and there'll be lots more on the way. Next month in July, of course, there'll be more summaries as there always are on the Esoteric Order of Gamers. As I mentioned, Hunt for the Ring is almost finished. The other one that's almost done is GKR Heavy Hitters by Weta Workshop and Cryptozoic. That'll be on the website in July. And of course, keep an eye out for those Age of Sigma videos. And of course, July Battle Report Month. 
And that's it for another Action Points episode, folks. I'm just about to send out the June newsletter to all those people who are signed up for that. If you're not signed up for the newsletter, please go to the main page of the Esoteric Order of Gamers at orderofgamers.com and sign up to the newsletter because in that newsletter you'll get links to everything that happened in the past month on the Esoteric Order of Gamers. And of course, if you choose to support the Esoteric Order of Gamers by taking a few bucks each month out of your gaming budget and throwing it my way, I'd really, really, really appreciate it. I'm at patreon.com slash esoteric order, or you can go to orderofgamers.com and support me directly through the website. I'm sure you can understand how much time and effort goes into supplying you with all this quality content. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you choose to support me. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you at the next Action Points. But of course, there'll be lots of fun videos between now and then. See you in those. Thanks for watching, and good gaming!